What's up, Bobber Nation? It's Jim Bobbington coming back at you. Uh, real quick, I wanted to shout out to all my new subscribers, everybody that's checked out the videos and hit a like. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you checking my stuff out. Uh, but I wanted to come back to you today, go back over the more aesthetic mods that I have done to the bike. Um, most importantly, the things that are offered by the community themselves. Uh, I really want to help out the community. I prefer to buy something from a fellow bobber rider rather than a big company somewhere who knows. Um, so that's what we're going to go over today. Just a few little things here. Um, <clears throat> one of the first mods uh, visually that I came across was this frame plate. I uh, didn't even notice this spot at first. It's usually just blank same color finish as, as the rest of the frame. Didn't even notice until uh, people started posting that they were bored, didn't like that spot, wanted something to put there. And I was like, what? And then it started bugging me right away, of course. What the hell? So, found this awesome guy, David, uh, up in Spain, actually. So, he makes these custom plates. Um, he also makes something for this blank spot that bothers some people. I couldn't think of something that I really wanted to stick there in time to, to get that along with it. He does some other custom plates that hang like a big number off of here or something like that. He makes like a leather tank bib. He, he makes quite a few different things. Um, I'll be putting the information for all these people into the description of the video so that you can check them out. Um, all of the members that I'll be discussing are also in uh, our Facebook group, Indian Bobber Nation. So feel free to come join that group and uh, we'll get you in touch with them. Uh, but this thing is basically, it's an aluminum plate and David custom prints full color vinyl. So this is one piece of vinyl, not layered different colors. Uh, and then it, it appeared they were epoxied to the plate in a permanent fashion. Um, I designed this. I live in Colorado, obviously, so created the Denver skyline, a little bit of um, <clears throat> Colorado flag to go with my bluish turquoise theme with some Rocky Mountains in the background. There's one on each side. Other side's not quite so visible. You got the belt guard in the way, but I still can't stand asymmetry. Had to have both. But these things are super cool. Um, just stuck them with some 3M foam adhesive really well to the frame. Haven't had an issue with them at all. Real unique piece. He'll make anything you want. You don't have to be a designer to create an emblem or, or image yourself. He'll work with you to create those. Um, real friendly guy. Again, I'll put his information down in the comments. And uh, we can get you in touch with him if you need to. Um, this guy... Just painted that myself. If you take these nuts off, there's still an Indian logo underneath that. You don't, this is not necessary. Um, the Bobber 20, I believe, or doesn't even come with that. And the Bobber 60 uh, just has the flat black Indian logo underneath that. But I took this off, used a little couple paint pens that I got at um, Hobby Lobby, touched that up a little bit. The finish isn't great, but it it's wearing well, looks great from over a foot away. <clears throat> no issues there. That's the only one of these things I'll go over that I created myself. Um, second thing I got over here, the stock license plate mount hangs horizontally. Comes out about yay far. You end up whacking it with your shin almost every time you walk around the bike kind of a pain in the ass uh, another member i met through a facebook group michael 3, 3d prints this thing um, it's crafted rather well if you look up close you can see it's 3d printed um, but it uses the stock mounting you just take the stock one apart kind of rebuild it with this thing it uses the stock light So it still all works and it's functional. Haven't had any issues with any police officers telling me it's not legal, but I've heard from other folks that they have been notified 
by the police. They shouldn't be hanging their license plate vertically like that. That's neither here or there. Kind of up to you whether that's something you want to go through with. Uh, <clears throat> I'll put his contact information in the description down below, but that's a quick $40 mod to get that thing out of the way, have it looking a little bit better. There's other options. There's some things that'll connect here and you kind of got a curved plate. You got to bend it a little bit over here, different stuff. But uh, this was quick. It was easy, functional, happy with the purchase. Um, the, the stock tank badging, those little aluminum Indian letters in, in block really didn't flow with the way the bike looked in my opinion. So my buddy Chad, he's also another member of a Facebook group. He whipped this up for me. I wanted the uh, Indian, classic Indian script, but I wanted it large. I wanted it two-tone with a turquoise border. So he whipped this up for me, got it sent out pretty darn quick. Really happy with the results there. My <coughs> anality, is that a word? My anality of uh, symmetry and everything being level and straight. It was kind of a pain in the ass to make sure that was perfect, but uh, I think it came out pretty well. Again, high quality, seems to be wearing well. No issues with appealing or anything like that. <clears throat> really happy with that purchase. And when you get tired of it, peel it right off. It's like 25 bucks down the drain. Big deal. Um, <clears throat> before I go on to the last thing, I wanted to gripe about my only complaint with this bike overall. I'm still finding these here and there. Let me see. Here's one. These little stupid QR codes. Mm, there it is. Ha! Ah, on every fucking piece of this goddamn bike. Apparently, in the factory where they built these, they have to scan in every piece that they put on this thing to make sure that they used all the appropriate pieces. So every fucking piece of this bike has a little damn QR code on it. Some of them you can see, some of you can't. But I've owned this thing for four months. I'm still finding these fucking things. It was on every cable. You can see them tucked away in weird places. Just a pain in the ass. I wish they'd remove these things. You can see one in there on some cabling. Gonna have to pop that off next time I remove the fender. Just a pain in the ass. But I mean, <clears throat> if that's my only complaint about this whole bike, that's not too shabby at all, right? All right, last piece. Headlight grill. <clears throat> Lots of people have probably seen the, the ones with the vertical bars. Was never really a big fan of that. Uh, this guy hung. He started 3D printing these things just for his own bike. And everybody was like, whoa, I want one. Uh, the honeycomb is what really caught my eye. It's more unique. I'm into Audis as well. And Audis... Uh, RS models like to use honeycomb grills and things like that to prove how sporty they are. So <clears throat> this thing is uh, 3D printed. Again, quality, you could tell it's 3D printed. You could probably sand this down and refine it a little bit if you wanted to. But when it's on the bike, you're not really going to notice. <clears throat> so there's a ring, a 3D printed ring on the outside that you, you have to remove the nacelle. It came with 3D foam adhesive, just like I used on those frame plates. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, you stick that on. It's got these little tabs, one at 12, 6, 3, and 9 o'clock, that fit into corresponding holes on the outer portion. So you, he does make the vertical bars. So you could buy it as a set where you get both the honeycomb, the vertical bars, and uh, you get the mount so you could interchange them if you wanted to. I like that it pops on and off easily so that if the cops give you shit, you could just not wear it at night, pop it off, throw it in your backpack. Uh, <clears throat> no issues there. If you get bored, you can swap back and forth between the, the honeycomb and the, uh, the vertical bars. But that's a pretty cool piece. Snaps right back on. I've driven with it at highway speeds. No issues with it popping off or 
anything like that, no rattling. It all works just fine. <clears throat> the only other thing I've done is this vinyl. Threw some vinyl on the on the black nacelle because eh, I felt like it needed a little a little something to set it off. Just picked some random 3M uh, vinyl off of Amazon. It was a matte pearl. Yeah, goes pretty well with the bike. Not too shabby. I had done another design previously that covered this whole part in white and the top part was black. That looked really cool, but with all these curves and, and stuff like that, I'm not a great rapist. <clears throat> Gotta be careful how you pronounce that. Rapist. Uh, so I got tired of the wrinkles pretty quickly, undid that, did this because I knew I could complete that one a lot more, uh, better quality. But yeah, once again, just wanted to give a shout out to the community and those who offer their services and products. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know if you create your own products for the bike. Come join us over at Indian Bobber Nation. Uh, we welcome members that offer products to the community as long as it's not spam t-shirts from overseas. Uh, if you truly make your own products, we'd love to support you and, and get that information out there to the public. But uh, once again, this is Jim Bobbington reminding you, don't be a skid mark. We'll talk to you next time.